I live in a world of music and machines. I'm enamored of music and computers and how things work. To most people, I'm a bit eccentric. I do what I want the way that I want. And I believe that you should, too. I'm David Peterson Harvey. Welcome to my strange world. On the subject of yes, mess that up, I did a recording yesterday intending to edit it and found out there were problems. I was running the microphone for the voiceover into a field recorder while I worked. Partway through, I found out that I had messed up and didn't activate the field recorder. So I basically started the video from there with voiceovers, explaining the process I'd just done, going forward with some things, only to find out today that the video had no audio. I know I checked the connection and levels beforehand. I'm not quite sure what happened. So here I am doing a voiceover on the fly that I can apply to the video explaining to you what I did. Things get weird around here. This is strange world after all. I've made the track visible on the left by showing view editor mixer. If you right click in the black area of the track under fader, you can add plugins. You can either choose, you can choose a new plugin and either choose from your favorites, if you have any saved, or from the plugin selector. I have several favorites here, including the CAF Analyzer, the CAF Compressor. I love the CAF plugins. CAF Equalizer, 5 band, I use quite a bit. CAF Limiter and Reverb, and a couple of other things. For this video, I'll use the equalizer and I'll use an analyzer as well so that we can see what we're doing as well as hear it. So I basically have this recording of a woman's voice, and it's very noisy. I downloaded it from freesound.org. Take a listen. Okay, go. Now I'm going to do something with the other vocals later, but right now what I want to deal with is just the recording of her saying go. So I'm going to snip that out and isolate it. I'm going to be using the cut tool. Okay.
I'm going to be resizing. And what I did yesterday was work with it across the timeline where I changed the pitch. So I'm going to make some copies here to show you. And I'm going to be dragging in a fade out to kind of make it sound cool. Notice this sounds kind of strange. It doesn't really sound like a woman saying go anymore. And then I'm going to be doing some pitch changes. To change the pitch on a copy, all I have to do is right click, then I click on the top option, which is the name of the sample. I choose Edit from the drop down menu that appears. I choose Pitch Shift. For one, I'm going to choose an octave pitch shift. For the second one, I'm going to shift up a perfect fifth, which is seven semitones. And now for the third one, I'm going to pitch up a major third. Take a listen. Now I arrange these in the timeline. And they sound something like this. In fact, they sound exactly like this. Remember in the other videos where I was pitch shifting the hi-hat, pitch shifting the snare, in order to give it a little flavor, basically I've done the same thing here. In the next video, I hope to do something with the sung vocal, and maybe a little choir sound that I've also downloaded from freesound.org. All of these sounds were provided on the site under a Creative Commons license. 
with no attribution needed. Freesound.org is a really great place for you to upload sounds for other people to use and download sounds to use in your projects. I have not been sponsored by anyone for this project, neither Freesound.org nor Ardor, which is basically my favorite digital audio workstation and the best thing available to me under Linux. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, hated it, or were simply bored to tears, please like and subscribe. I'll post new content as I have time. Please feel free to tip your host, either with loose change or with your informative opinion in the comments. Keep it strange, and hopefully I'll see you again real soon.